I want to share with you eight signs of an inner conflict. Uh, sign number one, constant feelings of sadness and or depression. If uh, nothing is pleasing you, uh, if you cannot remember when was the last time you felt joy, if you uh, haven't been happy for a while, then uh, you have an internal conflict. The second sign uh, of uh, the inner conflict is feelings of laziness or loss of interest. If you feel lazy to start new things, if uh, even if something that you really, really like, but when you start it, you lose interest uh, in two days, in three days, so quickly, you lose your interest quickly. Uh, this is uh, the sign of an inner conflict. The third sign, uh, if you feel angry all the time, most of the time, uh, people who feel angry uh, a lot uh, usually means that they live uh, by other people's rules. When uh, a person cannot create boundaries, when a person cannot create rules, when you have to follow other people's rules, advice, uh, then you feel angry. And this anger can be towards other people or towards yourself. Uh, sign number four, unfulfilled desires. Uh, for example, a woman wants to build a, a career, she wants to be successful, and at the same time, she is dreaming about a family with three kids. And uh, she wants to be a good mother and she wants to have her career. And in order to be a good mother, you have to spend time with your kids. You have to dedicate yourself to your family. And in order to have a successful career, you have to spend time on your business and you have to dedicate to, your, to yourself, to your business. So this is your um, inner conflict, unfulfilled desires. When you have two desires that uh, you cannot um, fulfill at the same time. Uh, sign number five, not enough time. Uh, when a person saying something like, I want this, 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 and I also want this. For example, a person saying, I want to change my career, I want to travel, I want to find um, a soulmate, I want to learn how to surf, I want to learn new language, I want to, um, to uh, maybe I want to do hiking more. So when a person wants to do several things and... He doesn't have enough time. This is an internal conflict. This internal conflict will um, immobilize you and you will go to the refrigerator. You will be drawn to, to food and you will eat more than you need to. Uh, sign number six, lack of new desires. Uh, when you don't know, uh, when you don't have any desires, when you don't really know what's gonna, what, what things are going to make you happy and maybe uh, things that made you happy before is not, does not bring joy anymore. Uh, this is the sign of the inner conflict. Uh, sign number seven, fatigue or lack of energy. When you have an inner conflict, you always uh, feel tired. You uh, have to spend a lot of energy in order to suppress your inner conflict. Um, that's why you feel uh, tired, you feel fatigued and lack of energy because your inner conflict is killing you from inside. So if you wake up in the morning by uh, and by 2 p.m. you feel tired, then this is a sign of an inner conflict. And the sign number eight is psychosomatic. Uh, when we have an inner conflict, our body, and we don't do anything with this conflict, we don't work on this conflict, our body becomes uh, to react. We have muscle scrum, we have high blood pressure, we have low immune system, we have a lot of headaches, and Mm, this is psychosomatics. Our body always uh, give us some signs that something is wrong with us. Something is wrong with us. And if you feel stress, anxiety, and inner conflict all the time, then you will have effect on your body. And your inner conflict uh, is stopping you from moving forward. 
extra weight or extra fat is your suppressed energy. It means that you have a resource, you have a lot of energy. Fat is your resource, you have a lot of energy, you have a lot of energy inside of you, but you're not using it. And if you're not using it, one day it might be too late. Uh, so everything comes from our childhood. And therefore, you need to heal your inner child. You have to fulfill your inner child with love, care, support, and help him to feel protected. So tip number nine is uh, try to remember what did you do uh, in when you were a child. Maybe you liked to run. Maybe you loved drawing. Maybe uh, you love dancing, watching cartoons, create a list that will help you to connect with your inner child. And in our childhood, we were pleased, we were, we were happy, and uh, we had a lot of things that made us, um, that bring uh, joy to us. And food, ice cream, it was only one part of uh, this list. And in, uh, in, when we were children, we had imagination and we could create a happy place for us. So we had a lot of emotions. And it's very important to connect with this inner child, to bring joy back, to bring happiness back. And uh, that's why uh, I am um, offering you to create this list of childhood uh things that made you happy 